Hi guys, in this video I want to talk about statin drugs. They really have trivial benefits with a great cost. Okay? Now, the studies basically indicate that 2 out of 100 people will end up with a heart attack. Not dying from a heart attack, they'll end up with a heart attack. But if you take statins, it drops it down to 1 out of 100 people. Okay? So if we take 2 to 1, that's a 50% reduction in heart attacks, right? That's significant. If someone to tell you, oh yeah, you have, I can drop your um, chance of getting a heart attack by 50%, you probably would do it. But these aren't whole numbers. These are fractions. If you take 2 out of 100 to 1 out of 100, that's actually only a 1% decrease, not a 50%. So they use words like relative risk factors and they have no legal definition. So if I were to tell you, you have a, you're going to have a 1% decrease of having a heart attack, if you take the statin, you know, you might not do it. Here's some of the risks to get this 1%. Increased risk of Parkinson's. It depletes your coenzyme Q10. That's going to actually make your heart work harder and create more problems with the heart, especially if you're getting older. There's over 300 adverse reactions with statins. Muscle damage, nerve damage, liver damage, endocrine system damage, cancer, and heart damage. So this is a huge risk. Statins block the enzyme that makes cholesterol. Now the problem is that your body makes cholesterol for a reason. It makes 3,000 milligrams of cholesterol every single day. That's a lot of cholesterol. That's like the equivalent of the cholesterol in 300 strips of bacon, or the amount of cholesterol in a pound of butter, or 14 eggs. It's a lot of cholesterol. So why would your body make so much? Well, because it's the precursor for hormones like testosterone that you need as you, as it decreases, testosterone decreases with age, you need more cholesterol to make more testosterone, as well as cortisol for stress hormones. So we need that when we age, but if you take this, you'll cut down the raw material for making those hormones. Cellular membranes, LDL, that's the low density lipoproteins, okay? That's the so-called bad cholesterol. Here's what it is. It's a protein that carries cholesterol into the arteries as a healer, as a band-aid to patch things up. That's why you get a clogged artery. It's because there's a lesion there already that the cholesterol comes in and starts to patch it up. So LDL is not actually bad. It's late on the chain of events. Your brain needs cholesterol to function. Your eyes, especially the retina, needs cholesterol. Bile salts to help you digest. Okay, so you need cholesterol. And the most ironic thing is that high cholesterol doesn't cause heart attacks in the first place. I'll put some links down below. Cholesterol is a necessary thing. It's late in the chain of events, but because it's in the arteries, people freak out. So how could you have so many people, tens of thousands of people, taking this medication and buying into this whole cholesterol scare? It's one word. Fear. All a doctor has to say is, what, you want a heart attack? You better take your medication. Okay, so if this makes sense and you logically want to do it but you're scared, here's what I recommend you do. Cut down the sugar in your diet. Cut down the refined carbs. I put a link down below of the ketogenic diet and intermittent fasting. That will greatly help lower your cholesterol. And once it's normal, get with your doctor to come off this medication. If the doctor still wants you to take the medication, when your values are normal, find another doctor. Thanks for watching. You know, I just wanted to take a moment out to thank you for your amazing feedback that you guys are giving me. It's just mind-blowing. The successes, the wins. I created a link down below so you can actually type out your full success story. And if you have a before and after with weight loss, that would be awesome. And if you don't have a success with weight but other things, just put an image of yourself and your personal success story. And I would love to read it and also share it with others. So I want to just thank you in advance for doing that, but there's a link down below. Fill it out and I can't wait to read it.